This is Mark and Charity's Coffee Podcast. It's Mark and Charity Coffee Podcast, closing in on Christmas. It's Tuesday, December the 20th. You know what I learned today? Learned what did you learn today? Kids have Friday off. Is it a PA day? They must. It must be Hastings Prince Edward. Okay, not because all Because my kids are going Friday. But yes, uh, MPP Todd Smith and his wonderful wife Tanya stopped in this morning, surprised us yep. with some holiday cheer, and she made the comment that, yeah, they only have to go until Thursday. I say only have to go, but as we said yesterday, it's still kind of close to Christmas. So. Yeah, I mean, they're not... They're going right, right up as long as they can. Yes. Yeah, it's just a uh, surprise because it's like cruel and unusual punishment going until For the teachers or the kids? Everybody involved. <laughs> like, who's really ready? Well, Ooh, really. I haven't mentioned this on air, but let's be honest, there's not a whole, I, I don't think there's a whole lot going on yeah. in the classrooms, like it's spirit week. So yesterday was the kids' uh, ugly sweater day. Mm-hmm. Today's hat day. Okay. Tomorrow's colors. So there's Christmas colors. Reds and greens. Reds, greens, and I believe blue and white is also blue included in that. Okay, winter time. And then time. Thursday is characters, your favorite Christmas character. Oh, nice. And then Friday's PJs. PJs. But then we had Patty Lynn sent in today, our listener, our listener, our one listener, uh, one <laughs> of Patty our Lynn loyal show. listeners, uh, Patty Lynn quite often will text us in the morning and the, today she texted in pictures. Did you see of her kids in their PJs? So they are having PJ, PJ day, day today. Today. Yes. Um, when are we doing that? <laughs> PJ day? PJ day. Because I have a onesie I could wear. We could do that Friday. Friday? When we do the gift exchange. You want to do that Friday? Yeah, I do. All Here's right. the problem. I'm going to have to pull out the good ones. <laughs> this is, mine is very, a lot of static with mine, I find. So oh. I'm using electrical equipment. I'm going to knock us off the air four times an hour. If well, not fly what are those myself. Strips? You can get the, are they grounding strips or what are they that alleviates that? I've seen them in cars. That you right. get the, yeah. So I we'll, should just we'll put just that put on my str- ass and then we'll just... <laughs> That's a great idea. Please do, because that would be hilarious. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay. Okay, you've got a onesie, really? I have a onesie. Oh, I do. Maybe I might have to go out and actually buy. I don't think I have. I used to have You don't have Christmas. legitimate pajamas you could wear in public? No, I have pajamas, but okay. I used to have Christmas pajamas. All right. I don't have yeah. any Christmas pajamas. I got to find, I'll have to find some. Something appropriate, because I'll tell you, <laughs> I got a quick story. Okay. <laughs> when... I was in the hospital. Nathan Nathan had to spend some time in the hospital when he was really young. So I stayed with him. And I asked Wayne to bring me pajamas <laughs> so I could stay. He brought the worst pair of pajamas <laughs> I own because I always sleep in them. They're the ones I always sleep in. So right. I thought they were appropriate to wear inside of our home. Yeah. They are not. That's what I mean by finding something. Yeah. So don't leave it to Wayne to say. <laughs> not the ratty pajamas I wear every day. I'm going to bring out the good ones. Yeah. Okay. And wear those ones. I could wear my onesie. What a shocker. It's a New England Patriot onesie that I bought. Weird. Yeah. In, I would uh, never have guessed. Wait. Uh, I, I was going to call you Wayne. <laughs> yeah. I would never have guessed, Mark, that you would have a Patriots onesie. Purchased them in pajamas. Rhode Island. Weird. At a mall in Rhode Island. Mm. And was it during the Super Bowl? The mall in Rhode Island. It's not a very large state, as you know. It's one of those weird roads that as we it's were driving. It's not a large it, state. It's the smallest of all the states. Uh, when you drive through, it was clearly, it was cut uh, way back when on a river. So every time you cross a river, you're back into Massachusetts. And then you cross over it again, you're back into Rhode Island. Like it's the strangest thing on the same road. New Jersey's not very big though either. New Jersey is small. Do you know what New Jersey Because that's when you said the is. smallest. I always thought New Jersey. Now Vermont's clearly the smallest by like a lot. Vermont? Like a lot. Oh, No, sorry. No, no, no. Gonna, no, no, no. I was going to say, I've been through Rhode Vermont. Island. That's crazy. Sorry, Rhode Island. Rhode Island. Okay. Smallest. Uh, but New Jersey is the number one state in density, size and population, gotcha. the densest state. Wyoming or Montana is How the least. Because I love honestly. maps and I will stare this at maps crazy. and read statistics no and love this stuff. See, and you're worried about being on Santa's nice list. You could help him out. That would be I one way to make at it that. on the nice list is by helping him with your, your all the your geography knowledge. I can't. It's like God crazy. love the listeners who texted in and thought <laughs> that I was holding the door open for a stranger away from getting off the naughty list. So you're not that close. Well, I'm you kept saying you were on the close. bubble. I'm on the bubble, but you still got to do like the end of a Hallmark movie greatness in a small town. 
to get on Santa's list. That's what I think I need to do. Well, the listeners did not only say hold open a door. Um, some suggested going and adopting a new animal or a new yeah. pet, a yeah. new f- family member from That's the Humane a big Society. One. Boy. Some mentioned, and I like this a lot, Lisa, and thank you again, uh, buying your coworkers <laughs> yeah. treats and coffees. <laughs> yes. Yeah, often. I like that one. Weekly. That's a good one. Yeah. But you do that. That's what I mean about you thinking you're on the bubble. You do that. Every Friday, Mark brings chips in for us to snack on. It's Chip Friday. I used to do this at my previous employer. I just mentioned it casually one day in conversation, and now it's become a thing. And you make sure every day. That in itself puts you on the nice list. Yeah, but you're discounting all of the horrible things You I have do. never... There is nothing horrible you have done. Do you like to poke the bear and annoy me? Maybe. But that is not horrible. Yeah. It usually tends to be, it, t- it turns out to be a really good bit on the air. <laughs> so I wouldn't say that's horrible. It's just not a nice thing to be doing. <laughs> I should be better at it. Oh, but you're anyway, good at it. You're good at it. Don't worry. <laughs> you managed to find Santa's blog for anybody if yeah. you think you're- Did you uh, know Santa Claus had a I blog? Had, no, I thought everybody got a podcast, but yeah. I didn't think anybody well, had, a, everybody he, I, had a blog. He might have a podcast. I didn't yeah. look to see if he had a podcast. It'd be amazing. But I did find this blog where one of the questions answered ways to get onto Santa's nice list. Let's Would do you it. like to know? Yes, please. Again, I think you're already doing these things, no, so I don't know why you question it. Uh, is it snowy where you are? Because of course he he's putting things up sure. for everyone around the world. Um, if it is snowy where you are, shovel a neighbor's driveway. And I think that includes clearing, and let's because words matter. Yes, yeah, clearing your neighbor's driveway. So the snow blowing, snow does blowing count. counts. Yeah. Yes, anything to help your neighbors have an easier time getting out. So that's yeah. something you can do. Bake cr- Christmas cookies and hand them out. Um, a few weeks ago, you brought in some Rice Krispie treats that, that were I pretty darn good. Yes, myself. you made exactly. Okay. So there's a tick. You got that one. Volunteer and help people. You volunteer for everything. Yeah, but you took money to the United Way yesterday, so you're helping people, Mark. Yeah, okay, just doesn't okay? feel right. Tell your family how much you love them. See, there you go. You I can joke down. all you want. You totally tell your family you love them all the yeah, time. I remind my children in how, your own way. How about that? They, in your own way. <laughs> when we had the two of you, how our lives were ruined, and I take every opportunity to remind them how much happier your mother and I could have been if we weren't saddled. With the likes of you, too. Which is your way of saying, I love you more than life itself. Which I say in my head. I don't know if I've ever actually uttered out loud, but I say it in my head twice a week. Well, all Stephanie, right, I Andrew, tell if my you're children listening, he I loves love them. you. Yes, all right. Okay. Fine. So, <laughs> begrudgingly, tell your family how much you love them all the time. We'll help you get on Santa's nice list. Help. Now, this says your little brother or sister. Yep. So it could be your older brother and sister, too. You thought you were getting off without that yeah, one. Yeah, say I can't do this. You can. No. Oh. Help your older siblings then, Mark. If you don't have any All younger right. ones, help them out. Okay. Write a nice letter to Santa. Should it's not that. too late. And lastly, say something nice to someone. And you quite often do that as well. In fact, okay. I have a sticky note here that's permanently taped now. You're a very nice person. He wrote to me. He wrote that one day. Whether or not you mean it, I don't care. But you actually put it there. So that's nice. Do you know why I did that? Do you remember why I, I did no that? I have no idea why. Oh, my gosh. Charity. No idea. Charity, charity. The one day I was nice? I don't know. Maybe. Maybe. Why? Because last year or two years ago when I wrote it, we had the advent of good deeds that you used to read Oh, every and it day. said to say something nice to someone no, or to compliment. Said, no, it leave somebody a note for oh. them to find. And so I put that. Is that the note? Under, yeah, I, totally I put that forgot. under your keyboard. We didn't do yeah. that this year. I know I you have didn't. To dig it back out for next year. Because you're naughty now. <laughs> I'm on, see, Way I to need to be doing That's this right. too, apparently. Well, welcome to the bubble. Doesn't feel so comfortable <laughs> now, does it? Also, this morning we talked about a list that came out, which was very misleading, as most things are, because words Weird. count. It revealed the most beloved holiday movie of all time. Okay, so not the favorite, not the most watched, the most beloved. beloved. And that changes for me. But up on number one oh. was It's a Wonderful Life. Why does it change for you? Because I, agree, I agree with that. I yeah. think that it should be number one because yeah. that is a movie that beloved. is... Beloved. Yes. Yeah. I, I think that's how people see Like if it. I said to somebody, what's your favorite holiday movie? And they said, Bad Santa. 
And if I said, okay, what's what's your most beloved? They wouldn't say bad Santa because no. we asked for different cri- criteria when we said beloved. Now it automatically thinks, okay, well, it's got to be heartwarming. And yeah. so it's a wonderful life wins. And then it said, secondly, well, among the other top watch movies. No, no, no. You didn't ask me no, which ones I watched No, it's not top watch. It's the one that you... Yeah. That is above everybody else. Everybody just, it's held to a different standard. I I haven't watched It's a Wonderful Life in maybe 10 years. I've never watched it. I know. It's, you know, because you just have to watch the last 45 minutes. That's the whole movie. (laughs) It's too long. It's too long. I know that's sacrilegious to people no, who love that movie. No, you've said that all along. Way, that too, way long. too long. And the, the acting is horrible other than well, Jimmy Stewart. Well, it's from 1933. 46. Okay, yeah. yes. 1946. You know, so let's get this right. So it was filmed in 1944. Where were a whole bunch of actors fighting in the war? Exactly. So you, whoever you could have in a movie. Not that they had bad actors. Like the main actors That's were what I good. mean. Like legit. The ones, the secondary actors, maybe not so you know, strong. You like know, like a few of the characters. Cab drivers and hmm. what are you doing? Hey, what are you saying? Yeah. And you know, and the eyes bulge out. A little so anyway. over exaggerated, yes. But it's it's like clocks out of close to two and a half hours. Like James Cameron didn't do It's a Wonderful Life. Like you can get it. It's not Avatar. <laughs> Could have been eighty five <laughs> minutes. Go whittle it down. <laughs> but think about the movies that came out just before it too. I should say just before. But Gone with the Wind was out at that point. Thirty nine. Um, and Wizard of Oz. Thirty nine. And those two are very long movies too. Mm-hmm. Like Gone with the Wind's like. Well, it's, a saga. It's it's like 12 it at, hours long. When it was at the theater, they put an intermission in. And yeah. I did go see it at a theater one time to see it in its entire, because I'm a nerd, yeah, in its, its entire release. Yes. So this is what you would have seen, and we're going to give you the 15 intermission and everything. Oh, okay. So I think the first half was about two hours and 21 yeah. minutes, and the second half was two and a half. Exactly. It's a long four and a half to five and hour movie. And that's an Oscar winning film, mm-hmm. as is Wizard of Oz. So mm-hmm. not that... It's it a called? wonderful life. It's a wonderful life. It's a holiday movie, but when you have films like that, yes, a few years ago that were released, it kind of sets maybe it was the standard at the time. You needed if you wanted a big film, a classic or or a film of that standard, you needed to put it that long. Or maybe they were just bad at editing. Could be that too. It's yes. a new art form, I guess, <laughs> movies. They thought, well, the longer the movie the better. Now we exactly. figured out. No. That's in a roundabout way, that's what I was trying to get at. Yeah, maybe that was it. You just put everything on the screen. Yeah. Don't leave it to the viewer's imagination to imagine what could have happened. As a result, put do it, it all, all in there. I, I'd seen a funny thing, if I may. Somebody put that up from an old episode of Columbo. And okay. Columbo walks up to a payphone. He picks up the thing. He puts his quarter inside. He takes a note out of his pocket. He reads the number and he dials the number. Like, who would waste that much screen time in a show today? Like Nobody. You literally but just Columbo's cut. a really good show. <laughs> yeah. You immediately just cut to them on the phone. Exactly. Back then yeah. it was like, why are we wasting all of this TV time watching a guy dial a phone? But in that context, uh, I think uh, it works only because Columbo itself that's that's what it was. It drew it out. It it built. I guess so. It built the suspense. Yeah. It built like you knew what happened, but you it built the way he found out and all the rest of it. Yeah, it's a wonderful life. You don't need to build it. Don't we all it. know. We know what's going on. We know what's going to anyway. happen. So the other most top watch now. All of a sudden. That okay, whether, so top watch. So this isn't beloved. beloved or not, these are just the ones we like to are. watch. The a most. Charlie Brown Christmas is number two. It that's is beloved. beloved. You're right. Home Alone is third. How the mm. Grinch Stole Christmas fourth, and the Polar Express fifth. So see, those are all beloved movies. I get Scrooge so they should take there. out the top watched ones. Because yeah. I think so, someone did text in saying that their most beloved would be Scrooge. And I think you're right. It would be maybe one of the top watched mm-hmm. films. But beloved? Beloved. Different criteria. Mm, with Bill Murray? Mm, don't know. So uh, then they were asked their favorite movies that they consider holiday films without explicitly being so. Die Hard, number one, Absolutely. 25%. Sound of Music, yes. number two at 21%. I and I was thinking that the other day because you always see Sound of Music around Christmas and I never understood that. I'm like, this is a Christmas, a Christmas movie, scene but and it's the a Edelweiss. Christmas. Yeah. yeah. Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. Again, there's a yeah. Christmas scene. Okay. Lethal Weapon. Again, it happens at Christmas. And Batman Returns with Danny DeVito as a That would surprise me. I 3%. forgot about that one because it happens around Christmas too. And Kevin McAllister of Home Alone, played by Macaulay Culkin, is the favorite holiday character. Followed so by not, Tim Allen at the Santa Claus is number number two. Not, not Jimmy John Stewart. McClane. Yeah. Or not Jimmy Stewart, Stewart in the most beloved not, movie. Um 
Clarence the Angel from It's a Wonderful Life. Well, and I know, but not Chevy Chase. Not yep, not the Grinch of Jim Carrey. Yeah, none of those characters. Not Tom Hanks from, well, I know it's Polar an animated Express. film, but no, yeah, still. it's funny. But Kevin McAllister makes sense too. Yeah, made the most of that list of the most beloved characters of all time. Bless you. There's a little sneeze on the podcast. Nice. Thank you. I turned my mic off. You're but... allergic to me. Sorry. <laughs> no Are you okay? Don't get sick. <laughs> Don't get sick because the other thing we need to let everybody know is I figured out what to get charity for Christmas. So finally, I know, and I think I go pick and it up. And you today. figured it out quarter at four, four o'clock in the morning. Quarter to four this morning. And what did you say to me when it when the light bulb went off? What what was your what did you feel? What did you say? I, I and I felt so much better, and I felt other than that euphoric. And I was when so you knew happy. what you were going to get me. Oh yeah. Oh my gosh, it was so easy. I overthought it. Exactly. It was just so exactly. easy. It's like, oh my gosh, why was I overthinking it? Yes. So when you get overwhelmed, get back to basics. And it's like, oh, of course. Of course. So I'm very, very happy. I'm very, very pleased. And now I can't wait for Friday when there's snow and you don't come in. And I don't get a chance to give <laughs> okay, you... Okay, well, because yes, it's funny. There is a special weather statement in effect, but not until Thursday. Yeah. So we could have a repeat of last week. <sighs> so tomorrow... I'm going to, well, because now we got the pajama element and I don't want us to miss out on all that. So tomorrow we will look at the forecast again. Okay. Yeah. Before we decide all that stuff. And we can even bring it all in. I'll, maybe I'll even pack a bag and I'll bring it with me Thursday. Okay. So even if we decide Thursday morning, I'll right. have my pajamas and I'll have your gift with me. But I bag. really hope. So you're not going to drive in in your pajamas? Friday? Yeah. No? I will okay. if I come Friday. All right. But that's my fear that it might not happen. Okay. So I'm not wearing pajamas two days in a row. All right. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Wanna, I'll bring yeah. it with me Thursday yeah. so we can have our pajama day and we'll do gifts on Thursday if it looks like Friday's going to be really bad okay, on legit, Thursday. Okay, legit. Legit. And then will there be okay. pictures going up on social uh, media of us in our so. pajamas? Well, hello. Or can't yes. we just tell people we're in pajamas? No. Can't no, do that? there's got to be pictures. There has to be proof. You yeah. can't just because you can't if, do that. We're in radio. Yeah. We need. We can't just say right. things, Mark. <laughs> there are it's consequences. It's got to be true. <laughs> Because you know what? I'm we a have guy. Our responsibility. If you told me we're having pajama day, I'm wearing pajama pants and a t shirt, and that's not, that's what guys wear. Again, that goes back to me finding appropriate pajamas to wear so I don't <laughs> wear my normal pajamas that are at home and might, yeah, no. This is going really badly. And yeah, but just Avert bring your, your eyes. wear your onesie. It'll be appropriate and I can't wait and fine. But I got to figure out how to not make it so static so I don't get shocks Again, every time I touch everything. Get those little takes. Okay. Was there anything else this morning we talked about? Nah, what else are we talking that's about? That's about basically it. We got to okay. get our phones fixed so we can get Jimmy in there. Yes. And, and the uh, mayor. We've been trying to connect with well, Mayor Jim the Harrison. Yeah, we're and the phones. Oh, my gosh. So we'll, we'll try and get him Driving on the show. Crazy. And uh, Mayor Neil Ellis of Belleville to offer their Christmas wishes to the community and what lives ahead in 2023. Yes. And All we heard from Todd stuff. this morning. Not yeah. only did he pop in with some yeah. holiday cheer, but also shared his thoughts. And he and his wife had a greeting for everybody. So we will air that tomorrow. And that tomorrow. We'll get into our throwback Thursday by unveiling yes. it for Burger Up. Mark tomorrow. finally picked a song. I had it. She gave me criteria. I forgot <laughs> to follow it. I don't. I don't follow rules. The thing well. is, I forgot for a moment too because you're like, okay, I have my song. This is what it is. And I went to give it to our our IT person because she Kay puts it up on the Facebook page for us. So I have to send it to her ahead of time. And I went to do that, and I'm like, wait a minute. No, our theme is this. What? Yeah. What? No. Oh, I forgot. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Just apologizing for everything all the time. Sorry. No, it's that time of year. I guess. There's a lot going on up here. We didn't even touch on your secret Santa. Did you want to talk about that? Um, yeah, I got a coffee time, mug. Okay. I got a coffee mug in blue. Best gift ever. Yeah, with the photo of the radio station dog Creed on Creed, it, which I love more than anything. Who is also the angel on top of our Christmas tree in here. Christmas tree. And there were 20 people in the room and Creed will beeline for me. And he's my friend. Treats. He's my friend. You've, and he falls at my feet and I rub his belly. And, you've and trained he wins. him that way. He wins. If I say, I'm going to keep rubbing your belly so you give up, he would never get up. Aww. He would never get up. He would win. If we Creed decide we're going to do it, uh, that's good. And then he gets up and he just sits beside me and looks at me. And I just love Creed. He's just such and a good dog. That's what I mean. Creed loves you. You love Creed. It's yeah. very, it's very yeah. special to see. Yeah. So now I have a mug forever with Creed's picture on it. Well, and, and while you happy. were doing that, I was at my kid's school serving up lunch yesterday too. 
Which is great. And I really hope I'm on a different station next year. Because you're the rookie. Although, That's I was. I was, you, I was new. on the vegetable I know, table. That's is, wrong. What kid wants vegetables? You don't see any of the lunch. children when you're doing when the veggies. their parents aren't there, they're not going to choose vegetables. <laughs> <laughs> I, that's that's the reaction I got from some. It was fantastic. It was amazing. Some almost cried because they were afraid I was going to put them on. Like, they're looking at me as deer in the headlights. I'm like, you want some veggies? And they're looking at me. I'm talking a different language they don't understand, yeah. but there's fear. There's so much fear on their face. I'm like, it's okay. It's because okay. You don't have to have some. He sees you it's when right. you're sleeping and when you didn't have your vegetables. But my child, my own child, felt so bad for me. He actually ate vegetables yesterday. Wow. He, he is not a vegetable eater. And he came over and asked for some. I'm like, you feel sorry for me, don't you? He's like, yeah, I do feel kind of bad. <laughs> and everybody stopped and watched Ben walk up. You look a little oh. sad, Mom. I'm like, oh, thanks. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. I don't care. Just eat them. Take them and eat them. So that's yeah. great. That's why you're on the nice list. On the nicest of nice lists. Well, the gift you gave Marnie, though, too, I think, puts you there as well. I gave her a scratch card along with uh, a uh, Starbucks gift card that she asked for. And it was a winner. She won 20 bucks. She ended up winning 20 bucks. Not not quite like the woman down in North Carolina or wherever she was. Kentucky. 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 Scratched off a hundred and seventy five thousand dollar winning ticket from a after winning fifty cohort. after yeah. winning fifty dollars on the first smokes. ticket. Like yeah. it was a winning pack. And you made a good point this morning. Could you imagine the giver of that gift? Walking around with it in their pocket. Yeah. They had it. They or maybe buying it. another one and keeping yeah. one for themselves and giving it. But they gave that the one away. Yeah. Like how do you sleep oh, at night? Oh my gosh. Wow. You hope that they share. Yeah. <laughs> That's what it is. Share some of your crazy gifts you've gotten at your office exchange oh, with yes. us. We'll do that tomorrow. Feel free to put it up on socials or text it in at 613-962-0955. A lot going on tomorrow. Okay, everybody? There is a lot, a lot going, going on, on tomorrow. tomorrow. The first day of winter mm-hmm. tomorrow. It's been quite a fall as I look out today. <laughs> For the it final has. day of it autumn. It really has. We move into the vernal equinox. Is that the one tomorrow? Sure. Look it up. If, you, uh, if you're if you up at the North Pole, it's 100% dark for 24 hours. You get zero light. No sunlight. None. But that Even means we start to get more. Yeah. Even Edmonton, I think it gets dark at like 2.30 or something in the afternoon, I think, tomorrow, stuff like that. I had a cousin who, well, I have a cousin who still lives up there, but she lived in, the, she's not in the Northwest Territories, but when she lived in the Northwest Territories, she would send spectacular photos of not only the um, the lights, mm-hmm. the- uh, Northern lights. Northern yeah. lights, yeah. but the sunsets and the sunrises. It would be dark. Mm-hmm. Most of the time. That's right. And then they would have like a brief moment of sunlight and then it would set again. So she would have these spectacular photos. Like literally. It was beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. And to see it dark at certain times of day when we would have daylight or vice versa, Mm -hmm. it would be nighttime here and the sun would be just a blazing. It it is something. It's incredible. So first day of winter coming up tomorrow. Wake up with Mark and Charity Mornings uh, on 95.5 Hits FM. We'll talk to you tomorrow.